Hey, what is going on, guys? Episode 10 of the Deacus Tree. Wow, that went by pretty fast, if you ask me. 10 episodes already. But in this episode, we finally got some gameplay, and if you notice the record, I actually did. I actually have a lineup now that I like playing with. Yes, the last video I showed you, like, I called it, I think the video was called, like, New Lineup or something like that. But I changed the lineup again. I know I keep changing the lineup. But with that team, I went 2-2 two and two with that lineup. You guys, you guys saw last video. I don't want to go 2-2 two and two with a team like this. And I'm, I'm, I consider myself above average on how I play. Not at shootouts and stuff, but, like, versus and stuff. So I want to go, like, 2-1 and one ratio, like, at worst. But here's my team. So Giroux, Datsuk, and Camilleri, and just to tell you guys, he's one of the best stars of the week in my opinion. Even the regular version of Camilleri is really good, but with 99 hands, 99 uh, skating, which I did put on him. I think I just put a uh, plus 5 skating, 5 hands, and that's how he was. Or maybe he was plus 7 to one of them, but he is so good. And he's not even like 800,000 or like that. I think he's like 90 to 100,000, so he's fairly cheap. And then we have Boyle, which I, no, you guys didn't see, I don't think. I got Boyle, which I really like, and Blum, which I will be doing uh, players to pick up a Blum. So if you guys want to get a head start in that, you guys should and definitely go check out him. It depends. Some people like checking defensemen. I like defensemen that could stay in position and play good defense. I don't really care about checking. I don't really care about scoring. But this guy's getting it done. For the first episode of goalies to pick up for Hutt, it's Subban. This is the only goal I use, and then the next one would be Rizgalov and DiPietro. So those are my little uh, warning videos, I guess I could say, for uh, what goalies you should get. You guys should pick up. Okay, moving on to line two, which is uh, it was good, but I just changed one thing. I got Derek Roy. Um, uh, let me see. I don't remember what I had before, but I got Derek Roy. I traded my oh yeah, Semin. I traded my Star League Semin, which makes no sense, honestly. The regular Semin felt better. Well, not even better. You just feel like the start of the week Semin feels different. I, I don't know what it is, but he's not standing out for the team. So I decided to trade uh, him and then a Skinner I had in my collection, which I didn't even know I had. So that was a pretty good trade. And I got Roy and then Spezza, and I put 2 plus 5 skating on him, and he's really good. And then what I had here for a while was, um, let me think. Uh... Hmm. Uh, who did I have here? Oh, I had, uh, no, I don't even know, wait. Let me just show you the rest of the, my lineup and I'll show you. So, the defensive, Carlson Gardner. Usually don't like tall defensemen, but I really like Carlson. He has, um, before I say this, no pun intended, he has a nice long stick that could, uh, flop every, no, I'm just kidding. No, but he actually has, like, a nice reach and he plays really good defense, in my opinion. He might not be the fastest and most agile, but he plays really good. And then Gardner's kind of like the opposite. He's like fast and he's good in position and stuff. He might not have the long reach, but he's good as well. Third line is Radulov, Star of the Week, Kravoski, Star of the Week, and Havlat, Star of the Week. I really like Radulov. He's really fast. I actually never tried him, so I didn't think he would be that good because he's pretty cheap, like the regular edition. But I actually really like him. And the Star of the Week edition, I only paid about, I paid St. Louis, 7K, and then something else. So it was like 21K or something for him when I got him. Fourth line, Marlowe, Lombardi, and Duchesne. The next player to pick up will probably be Lombardi for forwards. Because uh, now he doesn't really stand out because he's fourth line. But if they made a start of the week version, he'd be right there. And I actually, no, I don't really want to. I'm just going to leave it like that. But I don't know. I, he really stands out. But just with, uh, he stood out so much when I had my old team. Uh, like, um, when I went to go redo my team, I think it was episode 8. I mean, yeah, it was episode 8 or 9. I don't remember which one. But he really stood out for me. But now with all these better players, isn't really. this is a really good line. I just got Marlowe actually for 24k. But because um, I did a little change to the lineup, let me show you my trade pile now. And also there will be a pack opening in this video. And there will be a lot of gameplays. I have a lot. So we have some trades. And I actually checked them. They're pretty good. And then the ones that weren't good, I got rid of them. Okay, but here are the players I um, replaced. So Backstrom, I don't know what it was, but he just wasn't really clicking. Curry, very sad to see him go. I really wanted him. Got a lot of effort into getting him. 
and he just wasn't. Is he too tall or something? He's not even that tall, but I don't know. There's something about him. He's not that fast. Wait, how much does he weigh? He isn't even. I don't know. There's something about him though. Like Marlow feels like ten times better than him, and Marlow's an inch taller and thirty pounds more. Well, no, twenty pounds more. But I, I don't know. Maybe you guys. He's more of like he could check and stuff, and he's pretty fast. But in my opinion. He's not worth it. Well, he's not even that much. He's about like 100k, but he's not worth it. And another player who's disappointed by is Bobby Ryan. I traded my Star of the Week stall and the Star of the Week Skinner for him, and he wasn't too good as well. So I'm probably gonna get rid of him. He played two games for me, and mm, he had these uh, plus three. I put plus five on skating. No, plus five on hands. Uh, I don't even know what I put it on. I think, I honestly don't remember, I mean, if I put it on skating, then his skating must be terrible, because then, wait, I have no clue, but I put three training on him, but he's not that good, oh wait, I put a plus two, plus two all, five hands, and five defense, that's what I did, now I remember, so he was like 91 skating, 92 shooting, no, 91 skating, 90 hit shooting, uh, 91 hands and 85 defense. So he's a little better, but I still don't think he's that good. For basically 180, 200k, wasn't worth in my opinion. Well, now stall dropped down to 80 or 75k, so it was good in my opinion. I mean, if I just kept waiting, stall probably would have gone to 60, because stall, his worst stat is skating. And Bo Meester got him for 2.8k before, pretty good trade. I mean, deal. And I tried getting other good deals to see if I got anything. Oh, okay. Vanek, 2k. I don't know if that's that good. And then these players are all 100. And then these are all 100 as well. And I'm actually hoping to get Louis Erickson to replace my second line. What I sent for him was Patrick Kane and Star League Vermette. So I really hope it works because I'm hearing he's really good. See, if we look at him, he is a bit tall, but Spezza is the same way, and I really like Spezza. There's just something about his, uh, I have no clue. I, I usually don't really like tall players. He's not even that tall, but still. Anyone above 6'4", I don't like. 6'5", no, yeah, 6'4", is basically, I don't like 6'5", is no higher than 6'5". So 6'3", is a bit tall, but it's still fine. Okay, so let me show you what else I did. Let me think. Okay, let me show you my stats, actually. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have. Okay, so monthly, I was basically, I think last time I was 22, uh, no, it was, yeah, 22, 19, and 5. So as you guys could see, I did go up about nine games. I did lose about three, and didn't lose any overtime. So I am playing a lot better. Weekly, pretty good in my opinion. That's what I'd want to be. Probably a little bit better than that. And overall, don't really like that, but hopefully I can get better. So I'll start out with weekly. Just this week, I wish I could take out the games where uh, hmm, very tired. I went to go see The Hobbit yesterday, so pretty tired at midnight or whatever but okay so weekly I wish I could take out like the games I played with my old team not my old team it's really like my old lineup I mean like from the last video because with this new lineup I am seven and two seven two and one yeah seven two and one with this lineup but let's see how we're doing so I did quit one game and that's because the other team scored two ridiculous glitch goals and they were actually glitches. I know some people think some are glitches, but I knew it was a glitch because he just did the same thing twice, and he tried it like you know he only did it twice, and it went in both times. And it was seven to two in shots, so it was pretty annoying. But let's see how we okay. So 41 goals it was pretty good. So 2.73 goals per game. I'm scoring guys. Pretty happy about that. 14 goals against. So now 20. Oops. 27 goals against. It's 1.8 goals against average. That's good, in my opinion. If I can get that down to 1.5, that'd be great. Uh, hits, don't really care about. Penalty minutes, still, I don't know what it is. I always get so many penalty minutes, and it's pretty annoying. 
two game winning streak, but before that I had a four game, so it was four, then lost, then two, then lost. Power play goals, 18% almost, so that's pretty good. Short handed goals, three, that's pretty good. PK, 83%, that is good in my opinion. Shots per game, I got that from a 14, as you guys saw like last video, to almost 18 now. Shooting percentage, it's better. It's, it was like 12 before now, it's 15, almost 16. I'd want to get that to about 18%. Still letting up a few shots, 19 is not the best. Face-offs, pretty average, pretty good. Breakaway goals, only two. That's not, I don't, I don't really like that, I mean... I have no clue what it is. Only 18%. I think breakaways, everyone should be like 50 or 60%, but I'm not. One timers, that's actually went up by a lot. It was 1.9 before, now it's 7.4. I passed a lot more, about 10 to 15 attempts per game. Penalty shots, about 40%, so that's mm, fairly good, I guess. Uh, three shutouts, which uh, the only reason I have those three is because three people left the game. And I was winning 3 nothing in all those games, and then they quit. So, I mean, I probably would have had a lot more goals. I probably would have got scored on, like, once or something like that, because I usually don't get shutouts that often, especially lately. I used to get them a lot, but not anymore. Nothing here. I really want to get that uh, Erickson, but this guy is not really... I think what he's doing... He's going to wait till the final second. If no one bids on him, he's going to accept my trade. That's what I'm guessing, just because I sent him two, two trades before, and he declined them both really quick. So that's that's what I'm guessing. Either that, or he's in a game right now. I'm going with option A, that he's just waiting, because if someone bids, he'd probably rather take that. But my offer was Star League Vermint, which is about 35 k and then Keen, it's about 40 so it's 75 k Probably a little bit too much because I didn't even check how much they were actually going for. I just saw him and he's right wing and I really want a right wing. So I'd probably have to pay another 5k to get like center to right wing. So I just decided to do that. But if you guys see any players here on my team, I recommend most of them. Like obviously starting with Drew is a little bit too much money. He's probably about like 600 pucks. No, I'm just kidding. He's probably like 500 thousand. He might even be more, I don't know. But I got him in a free pack. That Suk, I don't know if he's worth two fifty. If you guys can get one if you can get a Datsuk any time for under two hundred thousand, then I recommend him. Camillary out of this top line, I recommend him the most because he's the cheapest. And I don't know about face off wise because I don't haven't used him as face off wise, but he may be pretty good. Boyle he's not that expensive. But it all depends. Some people like defense. I could put a lot of checks in, block a lot of shots. My defense, I like just staying with people and poke checking it away. That's basically what I like doing. So that means you have to be fast, you have to make quick turns and stuff like that. And every once in a while, create some offense, which my defense is actually doing. Once you guys see the highlights, I think we got three or four goals from the D. Pretty good. And I don't even have that many offensive defensemen. I have one, two, and three. And then one defense, defensive, and then two two-way. But hopefully I get the Erickson. Hopefully he's good. Then he's going to go right there. And one more thing. You guys may... Oh, wait. I don't know what happened. Did I... I just gained some pucks. Uh, I don't know how many I gained. I don't know what happened. Maybe someone bids someone. Okay, that's good. I thought some. Oh, I did actually decline that. How? I honestly don't know how someone could decline that. Maybe he just doesn't want him, but I don't really. Like, this is my trade pile, basically. Um. Patrick Kane and Vermette. That's about 75k, man. And Vermette could even go for 40, so it's almost 80. Why would I pay. Ah. You guys are going to witness it. I am overpaying for a player, which I usually don't do. In, mm -hmm. No, I'm not giving up, though, Mr. Uh, 2.5k, if he declines it, then I'm out. No, I'm just doing 2k, because I am actually overpaying now. Let me go see how much the Ericsons are actually going for. I'm pretty sure I'm overpaying, because that's above 80k almost. 
and usually if no one's buying him out, then he's obviously not worth 80k. Oh, my laptop just froze. Okay, so let's see. Um, no, not that. Start of the week. Wait, oh, he's left wing. Oh. Okay, uh. Ooh, 100k. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's worth 100k, in my opinion. And especially if no one's buying him or whatever. How much are Roy's going for now? Ooh, 80k. Uh, oh, 75k. Uh, that's not good at all. And then 90k. Hopefully, Simmons aren't. They were dropping pretty fast, so that's why I got rid of mine. At one point, they were going for 250,000. And then now they're going for like, they were going for 75k a week ago. So hopefully they're the same or a little bit cheaper, but I think they're going up. Yeah, I sold it to Ryan for his whatever, uh, his Roy. But, uh, not looking too good for me. Looks like I lost about 20k. Because uh, there was only one Roy up before for 100k. So is this guy really not? So, okay, if he declines it, I'm done. And I'm just going to go get someone else. I tried getting a Star League Marlowe before. That didn't really work out so good. Uh, what did I offer? I offered Curry, Vermette Star of the Week, Patrick Kane, and 20k. I, I don't really get, and also Bolmeister. I don't get what's going through that guy's head. Marlowe only goes for about 180k. That's what people will pay for him, the Star League version. So Curry, 110, 120k. Plus Kane, plus the 20k, that's 180k. Star League Vermette and Bowmeister, that's about 30, 40k. Um, hello, that that should have been a trade, but I guess he didn't want it. That was my last one. I was offering like little upon little each time. And he just kept declining them and declining them and declining them. People like that, uh, doesn't make sense. He could have been getting about a 30k profit. And that's just because there's only one up there. Well, no, there was one more, but the other one didn't have... Uh, it was for two days, and I'm like, oh, I doubt the person's even looking at him. But come on, like, honestly, I was offering 30k extra. I could see 5k, uh, you know, maybe not, because maybe he might want pucks. And I wasn't really offering, but I was still offering pucks. But I guess he didn't want to do it, and this guy is pretty annoying with not, like, take, it takes forever to look at them. Guessing he declined that because I got 2k back. <clears throat> no, he didn't. No, I didn't even get 2k. This guy just bid me out here. Mm, nah, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna sell him. Honestly, I don't really like this way. I'm. This is like my second or third time trying it. I could have got a lot more players. I don't really see it this good. I find like just buying those um, uh, those bronze packs would be better than this, because this is this could take like hours upon hours to get these players, and if you're getting a 45 pucks a player, I mean, sure you're not doing anything, but yeah, not really good. You buy you need to buy like 50 of them, and you can't even have 50 up at one. Oh yeah, never mind. This is whatever. But you need to buy like 50 or 100 to actually notice. Like I noticed I got maybe 400 from that. I don't even know. Maybe it was 500. But that's still not a lot of pucks. For me anyway. Even for like the people with less money and less fortune as I got in the packs. <clears throat> I hardly doubt 500 pucks is going to help you guys that much. Okay, so let me talk about some stuff while I'm waiting for this. I have a 22 minute mark if I don't get him. I'm gonna end the episode. Hopefully, he does accept. So, well, at the 22 mark of uh, this video, which for you guys is probably gonna seem longer because. Wait, no, never mind. Yeah, 22 minute mark in this video. <clears throat> but what I'm gonna talk about is Saturday, which is when this video will be up. I won't be uploading it. Well, I won't be recording anything until like probably Wednesday or so but the good news is I will be recording everything tonight which is Friday 
I'll be getting out the Minecraft series if you guys oh it's not gonna be out then but on Sunday the Minecraft episode 1 maybe episode 2 3 and 4 something like that will be out I'm guessing just episode 1 <clears throat> um players to pick up I'll be starting like a new series I guess since um, the other ones are pre-recorded I'll probably start a forward forward defense and goalie and there'll be separate videos like separate, they'll be called separate things so you can tell and then I'll probably start a start of the week version one um uh, let's see I think thing yeah that was about it so the three series basically this one minecraft players pick up and um the shootout series I haven't even uploaded one of those in forever and that's because I'm not good at shootouts I feel like it's not entertaining Here's what I'll do, guys. Please, I don't know if you guys want to do it, but if you guys send me a shootout of, um, if you go back, I think Columbus is the next team I have to do, or the team after Columbus. If you guys send me your gameplay with really good clips, I'll give you a shout out, and then I can use that for my clips. So it's entertaining for people. Because so I find it's not entertaining if I'm just going to. It takes me like four or five games to actually win, because I'm trying to do like all these fancy moves, but it's not even that good and fancy. So I don't really like doing it. And plus. Uh, they don't really do that good, but if I get your clips, that's more entertaining. People will probably like it more and stuff like that. So, don't think this guy's going to accept it yet anyway. Uh, let's see how much Vanit goes for. I'm hoping for about 4k. I, I know one point he's going for 5k, but if I won him for 2k, I doubt he goes for that anymore at all. Especially since skating is his worst category. If he goes for 2.5k, I guess I'll be happy. Uh, is he? I don't even think he's a center. I think he's left wing. Mm, please, 4k, 3.3k, 4k. Uh, hmm. That one has 3k buy now. No one even bought him. Um, okay, well, we definitely got our money back, seeing as there's none, like, under 3K. So, what I'm going to do is, I mean, 750, no, 800 pucks, uh, whatever it's called, 800 pucks. Profit shouldn't be that bad. We'll put them up for 2.5K start price and 2.9K, uh, buy now. Hopefully someone buys them, so 900 profit. That's not that good, but I mean... About 33% profit, and that was my phone. I think, yeah, that was my phone. But I hope you guys like the, um, uh, whatever it's called. <clears throat> Sorry, I was just reading the text. But I hope you guys enjoy. I will be playing Hut a lot more, and that means I'll be making videos a lot more, and that means I will be. I want to do another giveaway for you guys, but I want to earn some more pucks, and I want to have my team 100% done, and I like it. Right now, it's about 95% done, and I like it. I just need a replacement right winger. And Grabowski, even though I really like him, I, I don't know. He doesn't really fit that good with this lineup. And same with Havlat, but I think I'm going to keep it like this. Because people like this, if I were to compare Havlat and Radulov, it seems everything is better than Havlat, except I like playing as Radulov more. And Havlat's about one inch taller, but kind of seeming like a difference. Grabowski is like the perfect forward, but for me, like my type, but he's not really playing like it. I mean, he has a few breakaway goals, so right now I'm going to keep him on my team, but I don't know. Some Star of the Week players I'd really like if they made would be Lyles, Blum, uh, let's see who else, Wisniewski, uh, I can't really think of any right now. Some players I'd really like to pick up Star of the Week would be Suter. If I picked up a Star of the Week version of him, he'd probably replace Blum, and then Blum would replace Carlson, and Carlson would be that third line D, and then Star of the Week Lyles would replace Gardner, and that'd be perfect for me, but I feel like Gardner is just a lot more faster than Lyles. Except Lyles actually has two goals in the past like six or seven games. Gardner doesn't have any, but still. So yeah, ho hopefully you got... <clears throat> Keep doing these random like stuttering like duh, duh, duh. sorry about that. Ah, oh. but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a like. Please give it a comment with any suggestions or any questions you have to ask. And please stay tuned for all the upcoming videos. 
my editor hopefully will have the banner done soon later or the background with the banner hopefully within like a few days because he didn't start it yet but I'm really looking forward to it as you guys know right now the background he made right now is probably one of the best in my opinion it's not like too much advanced or too much uh, happening in it but it's just really neat organized and simple and it's really nice looking so hopefully that comes out soon I'm pretty happy I'm partnered by Machinima and I'm probably not uploading some videos on Machinima so what I need you guys help what do you think will do the best that I upload on Machinima that's the main question if you guys can answer that that'd be good and I'm talking about NHL related obviously because if I just upload like episode 11 of Decastry I mean that might do well but a lot of people might be like whoa 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 episode 11 so I'm thinking of like uploading some like video that I could just upload once like my tips video but I obviously already made like four of those so I'm thinking of something but I'm not sure please leave in the comments and um, this video is getting a tad bit long now so I'm gonna end it and also next week you could expect a live stream most likely on Friday or now most likely Saturday actually because I have hockey every Saturday so after hockey take a shower relax for a bit and then hop on the live stream for a few hours maybe one or two most of the time it'll last longer than that as long as there's about 15 to 25 people in there then it'll be fun but it seems like I didn't get Erickson pretty sad I might get him though because the guy is not a, he's probably in the game actually I don't know what I'm saying <clears throat> but I don't know if I'm gonna get him if I most likely I'll have the replacement right winger but another little question you guys might want to leave is what right winger should I get and by that I mean one that plays like the players I have here most likely short fast good hands decent shot and what do I need for this and a sniper most likely sniper it could be like power forward or two way or even a playmaker but I don't know about three playmakers on one line but I hope you guys enjoy this video I'll just say that another 10 times so I'm gonna keep delaying it no I'm just kidding I'm gonna end it here but I hope you guys actually did enjoy this video I hope you guys leave a like I hope you guys leave a comment any questions you can private message me and um, that's pretty much it so I'll see you guys later stay tuned for more videos this week and the week end
Oh, yeah.